Good morning, my name's John, welcome back to the channel. We're joined once again by... I'm Ashton from Exploring the Past and the Present. Hello guys. Just setting his drone up, look. <laughs> We're at the site of one well main junction of the Great Central Railway. Originally built by the South Yorkshire Railway. In part one of this walk, we're going to walk up towards Birdwell, see what we can find on the way. We've just come up from Aldham Junction. Now just in that line of trees there was the Aldham Curve, went to New Oaks Junction, Stairfoot. Straight in front of us would have been Munwell Main Junction. And the Wentworth Incline up towards Silkston Common. We're going to take this line. Like I say, it was opened by the South Yorkshire Railway towards Sheffield. So what we're going to do, we're going to follow what we call the Blackburn Valley Line. If you just look down to our right, that path there is part of the Trans Pennine Trail. It goes up towards Silkston Common, up what we know as the Wordsborough Incline. We are starting to climb a little bit away from it, you can see how low it is there. It does get quite steep in places this, as we climb up towards Dovecliff Station. We can see the trap bed gets a little bit wider here. The Blackburn Valley line that we're following went straight ahead, but just to the left a branch went up to Unwell Main Colliery. We'll just have a little walk up there and see what remains. We're just approaching this level crossing which went across Smithley Lane. Apologies, sun's in a, a bad position there. So straight across here would have been straight into the sidings of Wumwell Main Colliery. Now this pit closed in 1969, there's very little left of it now. So if we just look in the roadside, there's still the remains of a trap chair. Been forgotten about there. We're now on the location of Bunwell Main Colliery. Like I say, it closed in 1969. There's a few remains left. Looking straight ahead is the direction we've come from. And just in front of us here, is the remains of one of the capped shafts. So look at that. It's vented. It could be uh, it could be used for sampling periodically, gas sampling. There's another one just over there. Go and have a look at that. Yeah, same with this one. Look, it's been capped off. It's just left open to vent off any gases. I haven't brought my torch, so we can't have a look down. So where we stood, it will just be a, a concrete capping over a shaft several hundred feet deep. One survivor from the pit is this house. It was originally the pit manager's house. What we'll do now, we'll pick up where we were on the Blackburn Valley line. I believe the trap bed 
is through this bit of a shortcut. Looks like it's well used by dog walkers, what we've seen while we've been up here. Yeah, that's the trap bed. You see a bit of a steel fence there. That's looking back towards one well. We'll put the trap bed up here as we head up towards Dovecliff. Now we soon come to what looks like a reasonably new structure. When I say new, this obviously weren't constructed at the same time as the, the railway. It looks like it's been reinforced at some time, perhaps to widen it. I think this line would only single track. This certainly looks like a, a double track bridge. But what I will say about it, there's a lot of fort law around this bridge. It's known as Convicts Tunnel. Now it's obviously not a tunnel, it's a bridge. But it's been the subject of a lot of paranormal investigations for whatever reason. We'll, uh, we'll go down and have a look, see what we can see from down there. We're looking from underneath, we can clearly see why it gets mistaken for a tunnel. Like I said, there are a number of reports on, on this channel surrounding the paranormal activity around here. By all means have a look, but that's not what my channel's all about. I'm more of the uh, more interested in the history of it. That's looking from the other side. Some pretty nasty cracks up there, as we can see. Considering I think it's only about 1986 since this line closed. It's had a bit of movement since then. We can see it's been reinforced by steel inside. Perhaps this is why it's been reinforced with this later concrete section above it. Now this is looking at the newer section underneath. Not a lot to see but we've come up anyway just for a nosy like you do. So what truth there is in these stories about paranormal activity it's not uh, it's not for me to say. Another point that keeps being made about this bridge's location is the fact that it's in one well woods. It almost certainly isn't. Let me just point you over there. You just see this you see the other side of that field, that's one well woods there. We're not quite there yet. Still a bit of ballast. If we look down here. Anyway, we haven't seen scuba do yet, so we'll we'll move on. We're now approaching where the line crossed over the former Midland line. It's still a live line runs between Sheffield and Barnsley. Our line continued in front of us there. I'll just show you how close we are. That line of trees there, that's a live line. Looks like the farmer's nibbled a bit out of this embankment, gain access to his fields. Because our line did cross over a bridge there. 
just see a few bridge remains here. It's another part of the demolished bridge. Can't get as close as we would like, but that's where the bridge across the former Midland line and carried on climbing up towards Dovecliffe station straight into this cutting There were a, a branch came off the middle of the line just in front of us here to serve collieries both at Barra and up at Pilly. You see down there where it's fenced off. And our line continued in a cutting up in that direction. We'll follow that, see what we can find up there. We can see there's still ballast down. Like I say, it only closed in the, in the mid 1980s. This line, it well, still in use for a pit. a bit of a retaining wall there and this is what appears to be cut off remains of a, a signal post steel I think these concrete posts would have supported possibly a relay cabinet at some time. There's another one here, look, still a bit of wood on it. Amazing how this stuff survives. Still got a pulley on this support. Would have been for a signal cable, no doubt. There's another one here, look. I'll just show you down here what sort of level we're at. That's the Midland branch up to Pilly. You see the trap bed down there. We're on a, a slight gradient climbing up all the time up towards Hoyland. Looks like the remains of a telegraph pole here, just up the embankment. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is indeed. You can see how close we are now to the uh, the road. It's Dovecliffe Road, I believe.
and again just through the trees you can see the midland branch down there remains of some track drainage here it's been discarded This structure here, shown on the maps, is a coal hut. I'll show you inside. That looks like a telegraph post to me. There's also the foundations of a, another substantial building. and the bombed out remains of a plate layer's hut. You see the doorway there. There's a remains here of a, another relay cabinet still see the, the wooden surround around here this brickwork we believe this was the site of a, a footbridge which went across the line no remains on the other side unfortunately that's where we believe it was Then we're straight on to what would have been a level crossing, crossing station road here. Still a, a remaining lamp post. You can see that in the trees. Once illuminated the level crossing. So this is site of the level crossing. Have a walk down, look at the, uh, the remains of a bridge which we're going to push down. We're now on the site of Duckliffe Railway Station. Now, the first thing we've come across is what we believe are the footings for the later brick built signal box. You'll see the, the brickwork there in the floor. There are two platforms on this site. Now we believe this line of stones is the edge of one platform. So the trap bed is in front of us now and if we look just to the left you can see the other platform just there it does go on quite a distance to be fair this platform So stood on the, the platform now, we can just see the remains of a telegraph pole, looks like it's had some 
steel working to give it a bit of extra support. We believe it's this one, which you see there in the picture. We've certainly found more than we expected finding on this, this little walk. Again we found another cut off signal post, a steel one. So what we'll do, we'll end part one here, we'll return at a later date and continue the journey towards Sheffield. Thanks very much for watching, hope you found it as fascinating as what we have, finding all this stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.